friends so today we are going to be painting on top of our tissue paper design for our goblets um, you are going to have a paintbrush and a tray that looks like this that has silver paint and gold paint in between you and the person sitting next to you and you are going to be practicing adding your paint to your goblet and creating line and pattern so let me show you what i'm talking about you're going to get to choose which one you want to work with you could work with both also and you're going to take the paintbrush and i don't know if you know but this paintbrush's name is tippy and tippy is a ballerina and she likes to dance around your paper now Tippy's toes are very very delicate because she is a dancer so you never want to smash her toes because that would be so hurt and she'd be in so much pain so we just want to be very gentle when we're using Tippy the paintbrush. So I'm going to choose gold and Tippy's going to dip into gold. Look at how gentle she is. She's not dancing yet. She's just going to put on her shoes. So notice how her shoes are covering her toes but it's not going all the way up to her legs. Tippy just wants some ballet shoes on. And then when you go ahead and you put it on your paper, Tippy is going to dance on your paper, very gentle. So I'm gonna go ahead and create kind of an outline of my goblet. And I press down and I move along. See how she's dancing along the paper? And then I, she needs a little bit more ballet shoes on, so I'm gonna dip it in. And she's gonna come up here and dance along the top. Okay, so I'm adding my paint. I'm not taking it and smashing it down. Nice and gentle. You can choose to outline, but you do not have to. Now let's say I want to switch my color and go to silver. To make sure that my silver stays silver and doesn't turn into gold, Tippy has to wash off her shoes. So in your water cup, you're going to take Tippy and you're going to swirl her in the water. Okay, I'm not jabbing it down, but the toes are touching the bottom of the glass and I'm swirling it around. And then I take my paintbrush and I swipe Tippy's toes on the edge. I don't want to tap her toes really hard because that could hurt her a little bit. I'm just going to wipe it on the edge until that water's off. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my paintbrush, dip it into my other color. And I'm going to do the same thing down here in my empty space. And I'm going to outline my goblet with some silver and you can kind of see it's really shiny how beautiful is that all right once I have my outline now I'm trying to think of well what kind of lines and patterns do I want and now different lines could be if we're looking over here if I'm gonna do oops I forgot to wipe her toes our teacher come on wipe her toes wipe it off I'm going to switch my color. I'm going to show you. So there's different kinds of lines. You have straight lines. You have zigzag lines. You have wavy lines. Okay, maybe a dotted line. Lines that go up and down. Diagonal. And the cool thing about paintbrushes is if you press hard with it or push down, it gets thick. But if you don't push down and you just really gentle tickle the paper, you get a thinner line. How cool is that? So these are different lines. And then you guys also know shapes. We have circles. Let's see, I'll do a circle over here. We know triangles, squares, and we can probably keep going on and on and on. Diamonds. So in the middle here, we're going to think about what kind of lines and patterns we want to add. So I'm thinking in my goblet, I'm going to add some stripes going up and down with gold, some lines, and I'm going to repeat it. When you repeat a line over and over again, it becomes a pattern. But now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clean off my paintbrush in the water, swipe the edge, and now I'm going to go ahead and add some silver. So now I'm going to think of some shapes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do some circles. I'm not going to fill the circles in necessarily because I love seeing the tissue paper through it. And I'm noticing that they're showing up a little bit, but not super duper much. So I might leave the silver for the bottom, but I'll finish doing my circles up here. 
down here. Maybe I'll add some stripes going across this way. Can you guys tell me what I need to do with my paintbrush before I dip it back into gold? Yes, excellent. You're going to wash her toes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and here's my water. I'm going to rinse, 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 wipe it on the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into my gold. And what do you think? Should I do more circles? Or maybe should I do more stripes? I think I'm gonna do some more stripes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some stripes all the way across, just like I did to the top. So you guys kind of have an idea of what you're doing now. And down here, maybe I'll do some kind of cool wavy line. So as you guys are working, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show the video again so you can look at the video if you need help trying to figure out what to do. I think it's a cool idea. What happens if I put a dot inside my circle? And then I can come around and help you as you are working. Alright, have fun everyone!